What is going on? We are finally getting around to reviewing Pusha T's It's Almost Dry. It came out, I think, back in May, April or May of this year, I think seven or eight months ago. Um, finally getting around to reviewing it. I listened to it back in May when it released. Didn't really come away from the album with many songs. And that was also the case after coming back to it a couple more times since then. The only song that I, well, a couple, there's a couple songs I do actually really, really enjoy on here and starting off with those couple of songs starting with scrape it off with don tolliver and lil uzi vert this one gets criticized for not really being a a push a t type song but i really do enjoy the production on here with the don tolliver hook i'm a huge don tolliver fan uzi spit a great verse as well push a t had a good verse but uzi had a great verse and don tolliver had a great hook uh, b is very very good as well fits the the don tolliver hook Perfectly, in my opinion. The other one, which I think Pusha T did a very, very, very good job on, was Diet Coke. I think the hook and overall sound on here um, came together very, very, very nicely. I came back to it after hearing it already a, a couple times and actually really, really enjoyed it and have come back to it quite a bit since then. I love the production on Diet Coke as well as Pusha T's aggressive delivery. Now aside from Diet Coke and Scrape It Off with Uzi and Don Tolliver, I really didn't come away from this album with anything um the album the album kind of felt a little bland to me um the rest of it did at least there is 12 songs on here and I, I enjoyed the two of them but the rest really did feel a little boring at times and kind of bland not really bad i don't think it's a bad album by any means but um nothing that really really excited me or brought me any sort of enjoyment or really stood out at all from the rest of the album. I did like how on the outro track, I Pray For You, he did talk about faith, praying for people, um, and God throughout the track. I did like that and how he ended the album off with that um, and how most rappers don't talk about that. Um, I like how he talked about God and talked about faith a little bit on the album. Hear Me clearly felt like it should have been better than it was. I think the aggressive delivery was good, the hook was good, but really not much more than that. I wasn't a huge fan of the production from Nigo on there. Overall, it was a good song, but really nothing more than that. Noth Pusher T doesn't really do anything to make the song stand out um, from you know anything else on the album. Rock and Roll is one of the better songs on here as well. Probably the third best, in my opinion, behind Diet Coke and Scrape It Off. Kanye and Pusher T had decent verses, and then um, Kid Cudi actually had a a different different sound and something you wouldn't expect um, on the hook but I think overall it was a, a good hook from Kid Cudi still nothing amazing though um, production and the back and chipmunk vocals were decent and definitely added, added to the track as well neck and wrist is another one that I feel like should have been better than it was um, but still was good at at best um, hook was decent overall sound was okay on the song Decent performances from Jay-Z, Pusha T on the song as well. But nothing nothing really, really too amazing. Um, it was good, but really nothing nothing better than good. Pusha T's rapping on Brambleton was good. It was a good intro, but really nothing amazing. Still kind of bland, in my opinion. Um, as well as Let the Smokers Shine the Coop. I think that was the next one. Yeah, Let, let the Smokers Shine the Coops. Um, kind of forgettable. Um, nothing amazing in my opinion, nothing that really stood out, um, definitely wasn't a song that stood out. Just so you remember, um, he had a very aggressive delivery and flow on there, which I think was decent, a decent hook on there, but really, again, nothing, nothing great, kind of bland, boring, nothing amazing in my opinion. Call My Bluff had a decent hook, um, hook was kind of catchy, decent lyrics as well, but still kind of bland, kind of boring, nothing amazing in my opinion. Dreaming of the Past with Kanye West is definitely one of the better ones on here. Still nothing amazing. I've heard better from both of them on this album. Nothing amazing, but one of the better ones on here. Decent feature from Kanye. Nothing great, but definitely a, a good song. Decent, decent flow and delivery on here from Pusha T as well. Overall, it was a good album at best. Nothing great. Um, Pusha T definitely did well with his delivery, I'd say, on a lot of the songs on here. Aside from that, it really wasn't anything great. Bland and boring, like I said before. Um, delivery, the very aggressive delivery, definitely worked on some of the songs. Um, 
Kanye and Kid Cudi had good features as well as Jay-Z. Um, Scrape It Off with Don Tolliver and Uzi. Very good song in my opinion. It gets criticized, but very enjoyable to me. Uh, features kind of carried the song, but overall, I think as a song, it was pretty enjoyable and very good in my opinion. One of the, one of if not the best song on here. Diet Coke, great song from Pusha T. Great delivery and flow. Great production on, on Diet Coke as well. Overall, I think it's good, but nothing great. Nothing really too bad on here. Nothing's bad by any means, but not not anything amazing. Uh, boring at times, but um, not bad by any means. Best song, Scrape It Off and Diet Coke. Um, worst song, I would probably have to go with either Brambleton or Open Air. Um, just very bland, nothing great, kind of forgettable. Thank you for watching. Drop a like and subscribe. Drop your thoughts on It's Almost Dry by Push Your Tea down in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next video.